Yeah, welcome to Ed's Trains. Um, this is another one of uh, how I did it. Uh, earlier I showed you how I um, ballasted uh, the fast track and this time um, I decided to scenic this area make it look a little more realistic. Um, as the picture shows, I had two controllers here originally. One to control the, the uh, command gantry and the other uh, control the arc lumber loader. So what I decided to do was remove the two controllers from this area and I put Velcro on the bottom and Velcro on the bottom of the uh, layout and they're stuck right under my layout table right in this area so if I ever really need access to control these um, accessories manually I can just pull those uh, boxes off the bottom of the layout and run them. So the first decision I had to make was what am I going to do with the fact that um, the platforms are higher and, and the track and all. So what I decided to do was take foam board like this and cut it so that it fits like that. And um, I actually cut two pieces to raise it uh, a little bit more. And also, um, uh, back here, this is uh, just laid down for uh, planning purposes, but I'll have a road here and leading into the industrial area. And then uh, from this platform, loading dock uh, and barrel loader, I'm going to have the road cross the track and then continue uh, over to the right. And so I did the same uh, with foam board. Extend the platform, extend the road, extend the, uh, the area, and then took another piece of, uh, this is foamy. It's uh, about sixteenth or, or so of an inch thick. It's really easy to use, and uh, instead of using more foam, foam board, it's really easy to cut. You just use scissors, and you can cut it. So that's what I did so far. And then I decided I was going to add um, light to the scene and I'm going to lay in a light either right on the platform like I have here or maybe in this area I haven't quite decided yet so um, you know, that's kind of the first stages of this project and uh, when I move into the next stage I will re-engage see you later so now I'm going to add the uh, uh, the foam boards that I indicated. I'm using foam tack glue and I kind of spread it on there and I'm going to flatten it out as you saw when I laid everything down uh, it's pretty well And I'm going to spread it around here a bit. And that should, I wait until it's clear, it uh, dries clear and then it's tacky. It's good to, you need to work with it for about an hour. And then here's the side that I'll put on top. So I'm going to wait until this gets. Now it turned out I hadn't set this first one down 
quite far enough to adhere to the glue on the foam board itself. So, yeah, I think I'm in business. piece it's on top okay um, put the glue on the back side and now I'm just gonna set this down place. I'll tell the other nice thing about this foamy material. One, it's real easy to work with. And two, when you paint it, like I have on my roads, it, it doesn't warp, it doesn't bend, it doesn't, it, it just takes the paint and does wonderful things. So, and I have to figure out what I'm going to do. Probably a pickup truck with uh, milk cans in it because this is retail models, but looks kind of good. Thanks. Okay, welcome back. Um, what I've decided to do is extend the ballast here on this side, and where the road would actually indicate a crossing across the track here, I put in some black, small black and medium black cinder, and then I'm going to uh, ballast it up to here and then ballast all this. Back here I think I'm just going to throw in some uh, dirt and some bushes and kind of close out this end of the uh, close out and scenic uh, on this end. Okay. Okay, um Unlike my ballasting in my earlier uh, video, uh, I'm really, I really didn't uh, use the brush and lay the ballast in on the side of the track. I'll probably do it over here though. And I think mostly I'm just going to depend on the, the eyedropper filling in and then I think I'll be fine. Well, welcome back. Uh, I've finished laying in the ballast. Uh, some of the cinder that would indicate where the road's going across the track. And I also put some bushes at the end. And then finally finished uh, the grass between the two loops and the scenic hangs. So that's phase one. I still have to uh, wire up this flood lamp and then continue the road across and figure out what I'm going to do for the industrial area back here but it's a start thanks for watching okay well upon reflection when I looked at this uh, I realized the mistake I made is that the roadbed is level with the top of the ties but it doesn't really cross the ties properly so what I've decided to do is extend the, the uh, roadway and I will um, add some, you know, probably some putty or something here. Uh, and I'm going to remove this because it causes the, the roadway to kind of bend and all. So that's going to be my next step. I'm going to soften this up with some water, loosen up the glue, scrape it off so it's level, and then I'm going to lay this down use some hydrocal or plaster and kind of smooth it all out and then I'm going to paint uh, the roadbed so that you won't really be able to tell that um, there's an, uh, an addition here. So that's my next task. So let me first of all uh, dampen this with a little bit of water. I'm going to hit it with uh, some alcohol and when that's all nice and moist. I'm going to uh, 
Uh, use a putty knife, scrape it up, get it out of the way, and then I'll lay down the road bed. So, uh, I think it's getting kind of moistening up. Let's see. Well, there we go. So I'll clean this up and I'll be back. Thanks. I've decided to try this smooth it. I bought for roads that I'm really not going to use for roads, but I thought it might work well in this situation. So let's see. Well, I have the smooth it on. It seems to have done a fairly good job. I'll just hit it lightly once it dries a little bit of sandpaper and then once I put the asphalt paint on I think everything's going to look really cool. Uh, I'll have to clean up that bush though. <laughs> Thanks. Alexa, turn on trains. Alexa, turn on legacy. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, We'll run a train consist uh, across that track to make sure that my road inserts are working well. So here goes. I run all my power, accessories, everything through uh, my legacy control. Well, looks like everything ran fine, so that passed the test, I'm pleased. So now I'll just wait for that, um, smooth it to dry, I'll move on to the next step. Thanks. Well, uh, the smooth it dried and used, uh, 220 uh, grit sandpaper to smooth it off a little bit. Now I'm going to use the Woodland uh, Scenics Asphalt to paint the entire uh, road area and uh, move on from there. So, we'll let me get started. Oh, and I'm using a foam brush. I should have you know, that second thoughts. I should have um, painted this before I laid it down, and certainly before I um, put down the uh, before I ballasted the track, it probably would have been a really good idea to have 
on it, but initially I didn't think I was going to do this, but uh, because of my error on the on the roadbed itself, you know, requiring this little rise, um, I kind of did it to myself, so. I'm hoping this is going to work out. And you will see how, uh, how good it actually looks on this uh, foamy board once the asphalt paint dries. It's really good. Now I'll come back and hit that again. So that's it. I'll uh, finish it up and I'll get back. Okay, as you can see, first coat's been down and it looks pretty good. So I'm going to put one more coat on and then call it a day. I used the foam brush before, and what I've kind of concluded is a uh, bristle brush seems to just do the job a little better. And there we go. I'm just going to wait for that to dry, and then I'll finish. I can see in the camera it looks a lot worse than it does because of the uh, shining, but when I come back you'll see it's going to be great. 
Okay, you'll see I've finished. Put the second coat of the asphalt on the road. Uh, filled in a little bit of the um, ground cover. I also added a floodlight. Uh, next, I'm going to take those milk cans, load them into the uh, reefer, and uh, show you how it operates. Okay, well, I've finished up the road, and I filled in a little bit of the ground cover at the end of that road, um, and I've added, uh, as I thought, a floodlight to cover the platform, and so now it's time to see it in action. Using my uh, Legacy 2 and the platform, uh, and the milk platform and the milk car are run by the um, remote accessory. And we use an ASC2, and what I do is I uh, push the accessory, and it's number 9, and I hit AUX1, and you will see what happens. Uh, as you saw, it really flings those cans out. Some of them will stand upright, some fall. Uh, the reason for that is I have the operating track running off of um, track power, so it's running at a full 18 volts. Uh, I could probably set it up differently, but I elected to just uh, leave it as it is, and, uh, and it works, and I'm, I'm happy. Uh, thanks for watching. What I'd like to show you next is uh, that's a Monjo lumber unloading car. I'm going to use the same operating track that I used to unload the milk cans and have uh, Mojo dump the lumber on the opposite side. I'm going to build a platform there to receive uh, the lumber. So I can use that operating track uh, in both directions. So here we go. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to uh, uh, press accessory and 9 and then I'll hit aux one and it'll unload. Right, now I'm going to move that train out. Okay, thanks.